Um, I might disagree with that a little bit. If you look at it, solar panel prices have come down over the years and they're potentially on the way back up over the next year or two here. So solar, pan solar panel prices are probably the lowest they've been at least in the last 15 years. Lithium batteries are about the same price they have always been. There's been very, very few um, lithium batteries being installed into RVs. We, we specialize in that. That is our specialty. We're very custom, high-end lithium battery systems to serve the customer. And those prices have been about the same for the last three, four years. They haven't really come down in price. Um, the difference in lithium is obviously, you know, you can, you can do the seat of your pants. So AGM is about double the cost of a traditional flooded battery. And lithium is at least double the cost of a traditional AGM battery. But the difference is, there's more labor. So you just can't take an AGM battery and toss it out and then just throw a lithium in and life is good. There's some batteries on the market. We don't use them for our own particular reasons. The lack of a quality battery management system is the biggest one. Um, customer support. Um, if there's a problem, all of the products we use, I have the ability to call up an engineer, get on the phone, get hold of the company if I can't assist the customer and, and provide that support to the customer after the sale. So all of our products um, are chosen because of their quality. They've stood the test of time. These companies haven't gone out of business. They've been around for decades. Um, that's very, very important to us. So beyond the cost of the lithium batteries, there's a battery management system. You can see examples of that on the website. Um, that battery management system is monitoring and controlling the batteries through a computer. All of that is installed into the coach in a custom way so that it fits. Um, the monitors are in the right location. Um, lithium batteries also need to be in a more controlled environment. So it's extremely common, for example, in an Airstream, the batteries are out on the tongue, they're in a metal box. Most customers get a sense that lithium or they've heard that lithium isn't good for heat. Well, batteries in general are not good for heat. In an Airstream, again, for an example, if that RV, if it's hot outside, if it's pointing into the south, the sun is beating on the front of the RV in the afternoon, those battery compartments can get to be 100 to 150 degrees very quickly. There's temperature compensation on AGMs to make the controllers charge properly. Lithium batteries don't have temperature compensation. Um, so having the batteries in a, very, a more controlled environment usually means bringing them inside. That can be inside on an airstream, which we've done a lot of those. That's under the couch, under the dinettes, et cetera. In other towables, um, it's under the bed in the front. In, um, in motorhomes, a lot of the batteries in a motorhome, whether they're in the front on the newer ones or in the rear by the engine on the older ones, those compartments are typically outside if you look at it. That means when you're driving down the highway on blacktop, that compartment is extremely hot. So those batteries typically get brought inside. So that can mean in the basement area of a motorhome, in some instances, such as in Willing It and their articles, um, they got brought up into the bedroom closet. The batteries were in the back. It was logistically the best way to go about it, to bring the batteries straight up, get into the closet area, and, um, and that became a more controlled environment. 
So beyond just the cost of lithium batteries by itself, they need a high quality battery management system. There's more inherent labor to installing this. So um, it's not uncommon for a lithium battery system with solar and a hybrid inverter to take 30 man hours. Some jobs take 40 man hours. Some of the smallest ones, maybe 20 man hours. Um, the cost variance, the biggest cost factor is obviously with any job, the total amount of watts and the total amount of amp hours in the batteries. 